weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, Sydney, that's what it looks like in Boston versus Paris right now. <laughs> and I think at least so far this weekend, we're getting the better side of the equation. Oh, but yeah. I think the script is about to flip. It's about to flip, right? They're going to see a few days of nice conditions and the rain. Yes, it's really? coming our way. So we have a nice second half of the weekend, although tomorrow we'll have more clouds than what was in store today. And we'll be a little bit cooler by the time that we're heading out and about tomorrow. You won't notice all that much except clouding things up for your Sunday. But in comes the rain as we go into Monday. Some wind Wind too, as a low pressure is going to be sliding our way. But on the other side of that, we're going to see some warmer conditions. So those clouds coming in by late morning to early afternoon tomorrow. And you can even see the swirling of the low pressure as it is going to be bringing rounds of rain to us. So just when you think that they're done, there could still be another round of rain coming in. And that's going to begin on Monday. So temperatures for the rest of our day today, we're going to see them falling to the upper 60s, low 70s. By 8 o'clock tomorrow, 72 degrees. And then those temperatures will be to the upper 70s through the late morning. A sea breeze will kick up into the afternoon, keeping things in the middle 70s. For the most part, will be clouded up. And then those rain chances do kick up by the late part of our evening tomorrow and into early Monday. So that's going to be the first round of rain. Monday, though, random showers developing. Those rounds of rain will be coming overhead. And some could be a little bit more on the intense side. And then as we go into Tuesday, temperatures return to the middle 80s. Summer continues on and we'll be drying things out at least a bit going through Tuesday and for Wednesday. So as far as our rain chances go up to a 50% chance of rain Sunday evening by the time we go around 10 o'clock to midnight. That's when the rain will be coming in and likely sticking around. See some heavier bands of rain will be kicking up around midnight. So if you do hear some rumbles of thunder as you're heading off to bed for your Monday, just know it's that round of rain and there could be more behind it. It's just going to be more on the random side on how this swirl really develops in exactly what time who sees rain. But right now it does look like there will be some higher rain totals for central Massachusetts than right along the coast. And it also looks like areas along the Cape could see that rain come in as early as around 4 to 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. So it's when all is said and done as the system comes overhead and brings... <clears throat> excuse me, brings us those showers. One to two inches of rain for most. Some localized locations could see a bit more than that. Once you start to see more than that, you start to see the potential for ponding on the roads and the potential to see some low spots with poor drainage picking up water. So temperatures in the middle and upper 70s, Sunday and Monday. Then we're back to the middle 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday. As I said, summer returns, but we will have to deal with the on and off chance for showers and even thunderstorms going through Thursday and Friday. That does stick around for the start of next weekend, but lots of periods of sunshine once we get through Monday's rain and once we clear things out into Tuesday. The heat is coming, Sydney. Oh, it's returning, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, if you're not by a TV, you can get Sydney's forecast right on your phone. Just download the NBC10 Boston app. You'll have access to our radar, the 10-day forecast, or you can set it to get severe weather alerts where you live.